All right, here we go. Here's our MTF Cage announcer, Mike Kendall, with the fighter introductions. Fight fans, this contest is scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the MCF middleweight division, brought to you tonight by three margaritas. And now introducing first, fighting out of the Levander's Blue Corner. This freestyle fighter stands 5'11", weighed in 184 pounds. He holds a professional record, two wins, one defeat, with both wins coming by way of knockout. Representing Trials MMA in fighting out of Fort Collins, Colorado, Coleman Scribner. His opponent across the cage, fighting out of the white tail screen print red corner. It's a freestyle fighter standing six foot three, weight in 183.6 pounds. He holds a one in three professional record. That win coming by way of knockout. Representing Mason City Fight Team and Gracie Fighter, fighting out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Pete the Crypt Keepers. The referee, Bobby Wambacher. All right, there we go. Fighter introductions out of the way, and we are ready to go. This one's scheduled for three five-minute rounds on the Bishop Jones time clock. If you commit a crime and don't want to do time, call Bishop Jones coming in 2022. Locations in Kearney and North Platte. All right, here we go. Underway, Scribner in the black trunks, keepers in the white trunks. This a Midwest Championship fighting middleweight bout. I remember, I, oh, oh, nice oh, Nice leg oh, kick oh. by Coleman Scribner. That hurt. I thought was. he was hurt for on the knee and for a second. I was just getting ready to say, if I, but Scribner's last fight here that I called, his leg kicks were vicious, and he didn't play around, and he comes right out and lands one. Let's it, see if he, he yeah. I was going to say, say let's that. Let's see if he stands up and looks for that again. That guard of keepers, he moved that guard up high quickly, and I don't think Coleman Scribner, he haven't felt success early with the striking. And happy to move it back up onto the feet. Nice strike by keepers yeah. there. Got through. He looks for that. He looks for that right leg kick, and then comes right away with, with with combinations from the hands, which is exactly how it should be done. Nice knee though. Caught him. Caught, caught Scribner. Nice caught knee from knee. keepers. He, he's not just breaking the clinch. He's, he's throwing out of the clinch. Oh, nice shot oh, too. nice shots landed for Scribner. Keepers, though, pulling full guard. He kept coming forward and kept keepers on the end of his punch, and that clipped him. Looking for an arm bar. Look at him trying to work the arm bar. You got to be careful. Keep him stacked. Oh, that's 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 uh, dangerous. It's, it's tight. Nah, he's all right. And now out of trouble is Coleman Scribner. But still keepers busy on the bottom. Yeah, and Scribner punches with power when he gets a guy on the ground. He doesn't just throw little choppy punches. So Now in a full mount is Coleman Scribner and taking the back yeah. one hook in. This isn't good for keepers here. Letting a guy like Scribner sit on your back and just start dropping bombs. Because he isn't going to throw little baby shots. He's going to drop hammers. Now in a full mount is yeah, Coleman those Scribner. Are, those are hurting and he ain't doing anything to get him off him at all. That mound was high for a moment, Kelly Wiseman, but yeah. Scribner back down. Yeah. I mean, if you're not going to try to improve your position and just let a guy pound on you, then I know it's easier said than done sometimes, but you got to make an attempt. Now elbows. Two and a half minutes approaching, two and a half minutes to go, and that's going to do it. Yeah. Enough of the strikes. It's too much dominance. That guy's too good. Just that's no joke. He's well-rounded, man. Right. Clear that he was not going to get out of that position. In yeah, Coleman's I said Scribner. it when he fought last time. You know, the guy, he's he's nice. His striking's nice. His wrestling's nice. He doesn't get, he doesn't throw, you know, Wally Lompers wild. Everything has a purpose. It's tight. Yeah. Coleman Scribner's nice. Another nice showing at MCF by Coleman Scribner. We mentioned uh, fighting in March here for this promotion. And a quick victory for him in round number one then as well. He does not disappoint. Keepers, I'm not sure, agreed with the, the stoppage, but Kelly Wise. I didn't see why. I was trying to watch the replay, and I didn't see what the stoppage was. I see him. Uh, right. Here's Mike Kendall with our official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee Bobby Wambacher calls a stop to the fight. Two minutes, 20 seconds into the very first round. Declaring your winner by TKO. Coleman Scribner. Coleman Scribner improves to three and one as a professional mixed martial artist. And our own Elizabeth is going to catch up with Coleman Scribner. Here you go, Elizabeth. All right, I'm here with Coleman Scribner advancing to three and one pro. 
excellent display of grappling, getting in different transitions, executing everything that you worked for. What was your strategy going into the fight? Uh, just fight hard, man. Um, that's all we do at Trials MMA. Get in there and get shit done. And uh, whether it went to the ground or stand up, we we're ready for all of it. So, when you were in your fight camp and working with your training partners, were you guys doing striking at all of that, or were you doing a lot of grinding and, and and wrestling for the most part? Trials is everything, man. Your last fight was in March. Are you planning on staying active and getting in the octagon soon? Yeah, we're gonna stay active and keep the ball rolling. Thank you so much and good luck. Thank you to all you veterans out there. You guys are the real fucking heroes. Hey, I'll second that motion. Thank you, veterans. And your winner by strikes in round number one, Coleman Scribner, Trials MMA, Fort Collins College.